Hey guys, Steph here, founder of Nourish, and we are on day six of our seven day chakra cleanse, chakra and sugar detox. Today's color is indigo. That's kind of like a mix between pink or purple and blue. Let me know if you think this shirt is indigo or not in the comments. What we're doing today, um, we've worked our way up the chakra. So today's chakra is the third eye. And for that, the yoga poses that you have um, in your email are downward dog, seated lotus pose, shavasana, and dolphin pose. I'll show you what those are and then what we'll do for our five minutes of restorative yoga tonight because I know a lot of you guys are using this before bed. We're going to do half lotus um, with a little meditation. So I'll show you all the poses and then we'll do that at the end of the video. Half lotus, um, full lotus is you know the typical yogi pose whenever your feet are all wrapped up i'm not going to do it my hips are not open but it's basically like this but your other ankle here um so that's full lotus we will not be doing that tonight um and so our colors indigo we're doing the, the third eye the chakra so we're on day six and we finished the portion of Monday through Friday, the food portion. So you can let go of that now. You've done your Monday to Friday, the reset. And then what we're doing now over the weekend is we're just kind of integrating back into reality, letting go of the food stuff, um, starting to start to, starting to think of a maintenance plan. So feel free to connect with me um, in our private support group to figure out a maintenance plan. Um, I always love doing a shake, continuing on with a shake a day. The probiotics if you've had a flu or your gut's feeling a little bit off and then the multi vitamins vitamins and minerals ongoing incorporating an omega-3 as well um because we're doing the seven day sugar and chakra detox to cut cravings uh, three of the reasons why we might have cravings one of them would be deficiencies so we're correcting that uh, one of them would be habitual. So say you're in the habit of eating a cookie in the afternoon or potato chips before bed. We're correcting that with healthy habits. We're adding in yoga every day. We're adding in healthy shakes, snacks, etc. And then the third is, of course, our cortisol driven reason why we might have um, cravings. So we'll get into it. Some of our affirmations, you have these in your email, but our affirmations for balancing the sixth chakra, the third eye are I am clear I deserve the very best my timing is excellent I lead from faith not fear I trust myself I am exactly where I'm supposed to be so some of these affirmations you can either read them over to yourself or you can write them at the top of your journal um, they really help with becoming clear and today's focus is um, clarity and contemplation. So that clarity, really deciding on what it is you want, how you want to live your life. And then contemplation is always, sitting in meditation is always um, really good for that. So that's what we're doing. Five minutes of restorative yoga to calm down the nervous system. Um, and we'll do that together. You don't have to worry about looking at a clock. I've got the five minute timer I'll put on. And I'll show you... Um, really quick what dolphin is. So if you're doing this at the beginning part of the day, dolphin's great for energizing. And what we're doing with dolphin is you're, you're on your forearms, it's kind of a hard pose. You're on your forearms, your butt's back into the air, and you can make this active in a little bit of a workout by tapping your third eye or your nose forward. So this alone is dolphin. And then if you want to activate it in the morning, you come forward tapping and back up. It's very hard, so don't worry if you can't do it. And since um, we're really focusing on restoration, we're going to be doing seated lotus pose, half lotus, with um, just focusing on the breath meditation to calm down before bed. Okay, so full lotus, like I said, is that crazy one where you got one ankle here and this other one up here. If you're super open in the hips, you can do that. If not, half lotus pose is, is accessible to you. Um, easier if you have something under your bum like a pillow and then as long as your ankle is not folded in on itself you can do this pose so if it is then just go into an easy seat if you can have your ankle up here without um, your ankle being compromised 
basically flexing your toe protects the knee. That's half lotus. You can do whichever side you would like to start. <sighs> and we'll do five minutes together. Putting on some music so you don't have to worry about looking at the timer. Um, you'll hear the chimes go off. Hey, what's up, world? <clears throat> All right, here we go. Five minutes. You got this. So, sitting in a comfortable seat, half lotus if you feel up to it, uh, lifting the seat up a little bit so that just allows for a little bit more space in the hips. Grounding down through your bun, your buns. Lifting up through the crown of the head. We're gonna do a scan through the body, taking a couple breaths in our third eye chakra, which is the chakra of the day, day six, and our seven day chakra, sugar detox. All right, we'll start the timer and get going, guys. Make sure to grab a blanket or a warm sweater. Once you step into this restful state, you tend to um, get really chilly. All right, so sitting down, grounding through your sit bones, feeling the shoulders come up towards the ears, back and down. Drawing your attention to the breath in and out of the nose, ujjayi breath. Starting in the forehead, start to relax through the brows, allowing the eyes to roll back in the sockets. Taking a breath, Focusing the energy in between the eyebrows. Two more, just like that, in and out of the nose. Feeling fully relaxed through the cheekbones allowing the jaw to fall apart, releasing tension through the back of the neck, the throat, and feeling light in the shoulders. Focusing energy on the chest and the rib cage, feeling open and lifted. Breathing into the belly and relaxing down through the hips. Feeling the legs heavy on the earth, fully supporting the weight of your body. Grounding down to lift up. Slowly uncrossing the legs and just switching to the other side. We are halfway through. So hang in there, grounding down through the seat to lift up through the crown. Coming back through the belly, deep inhale, feel the belly expand. And exhale. Drawing up through the rib cage and the chest. Feeling those shoulders coming up towards the ears, back and down. Feeling lifted in the chest and proud through the heart. 
coming up through the throat and the back of the neck, feeling the jaw relaxed. Coming up through, through the cheekbones and in between the eyes. Once again, focusing three breaths here. Inhales and exhales. Two more, just like that. Feeling soft through the forehead and lifted through the crown and the top of the head. Full body balance, grounding down to lift up. In and out of the nose. Three more breaths here. All right, guys, you are finished. You're five minutes. Congratulations. You're day six, five minutes of rest and digest every day. Um, what we did here was focused on balancing the third eye chakra. So what we're doing through this is it's um, we're basically just opening up the energy lines and meditation or stillness is a great way to get into this and um, I love that body scan because what it does is it focuses you in on a specific area of your body and again it's just bringing awareness and attention. So today's color is indigo. Let me know in the comments if you think this is indigo or not. <laughs> I wasn't sure. It's purpley, bluish. Um, and every time you see indigo today or purple, bluish, you can take a moment and just focus inward and become aware of the breath and the body and our chakra systems. Um, a lot of what we do here is actually just calm the nervous system because often we are eating healthy and we're exercising but we still have that stubborn belly fat. It could be hormone related, specifically too much cortisol. So instead of getting pissed off that we're busy and stressed, let's just do something about it. It doesn't have to be a crazy one hour or 90 minute yoga class. It can be as simple as five minutes a day, which is what we're doing, or 60 seconds of breath work. It does wonders. And if you are having trouble sleeping, this routine right before bed is amazing because if you wake up and you are not rested, then perhaps you didn't get into the proper um, sleep cycles, which also messes with your hormones and your uh, hunger hormones. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for our final day and our final chakra, the crown chakra. And if you missed our videos for the whole series, they're under the video tab as well as on my YouTube channel. If you want to hit up and join us for the next series, we do Sunday setup and then we do the food portion, the five day reset Monday to Friday and wrap up over the weekend, just um, creating your maintenance plan within our support group. So message me if you want to chat about your maintenance plan after this detox so that we can get you set up with um, some simple things to add in so you're feeling awesome. All right guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow.